Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide uh, a freelancing based solution to uh, some of the small problems which could be faced by you. So you can contact us for any projects or any tuition kind of queries at that website, uh, at our mail that is www.jcbrolabs at gmail.com okay so in this video we will talk about how to generate a stamp signal and how to generate a step signal and an impulse signal in python okay so let's start with python so for python we are using this anaconda distribution of python which comes up with the uh, which uh, by default install the required uh, modules like scipy, numpy and matplotlib which are generally useful for scientific computation ok so from this anaconda we are using this spider id uh, which is a powerful id and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, this front panel looks like uh, a matlab kind of here okay matlab kind of environment it feels like okay so let's create a new file and let's change the name generate step and impulse signal okay so first thing we will do we'll save this file at desktop by the name like step and impulse okay so okay, let's start First of all, we will import uh, this matplotlib module so that uh, we can clip dot plot so that we can plot uh, the signals as let's say plt and then import uh, let's say numpy as np. Okay. So first uh, first command will be so, uh, we uh, we will write a command so that all the open figure closes as soon as we run this particular code so for that uh, plt dot close and then we have to write like all okay and now <coughs> because we want to generate a strap signal and impulse signal in specifically in discrete domain so we will generate uh, x axis or the sample axis uh, so the sample generate the sample access or you can write it simple samples so for that we will be generating this numpy array of samples and there is a command for that np dot arrange and in that you uh, you can provide a, a starting range and the ending range for say minus 10 to and this is a starting point and the ending point let's say 20 and by default it will uh, take a a difference of one okay so so now we will find the length of the uh, numbers or the sequence which we want to generate so that can be calculated from np dot size and then so it by default returns the uh, size uh, of the array like let's try to run it so all the variables can be seen in this variable explorer window so you will find length is uh, size is the 30 so we have generated our 30 numbers from minus 10 to 20 hmm. now we'll generate impulse let's create a variable and we will generate an array of zeros because this impulse signal exists only on at n equals to zero and all other points it is zero let's say magnitude is zero so so let's say l comma one size so this ge will generate a signal of zeros okay data so yep, np dot zeros uh, let's say right so this impulse signal is uh, uh, 30 a uh, vector of zero vector which contains all the values as zeros now there's a point uh, there's a uh, because 
impulse signal signal exist only at n equals to zero so we will uh, need to find the index of the n where n is zero so there are two different things if we talk about uh, and i hope you may be familiar with if an array is being represented then there are two num things these are the values like minus 10 minus 9 up to it is going to 20 and there is an index number like 0 1 2 3 4 so we need to identify at which index let's say 4 0 is appearing okay so for that uh, we will use a command like np.where so it will give the index number np.where n equals to equals to 0 okay so this command is and then what we'll do at this index we will make uh, this impulse response value at this index equals to 1 that's it and now we will plot it uh, a kind of a stem plot will make so that will be n comma imp and then let's give it to the title plt dot title uh, <coughs> impulse signal and then we can also make it the label x label uh, this is sample index okay. or sample number we can say instead of index number will be fine and then we can make it plt dot y label as amplitude right and then we can that's it and then let's say plt dot grade and make it true so let's run it if everything goes fine our figure will open up okay so this is the figure for impulse signal at n equals to zero we are getting uh, this uh, magnitude one okay so it's fine now a uh, move forward uh, we will generate a step signal so step signal is somewhat similar to the processor is somewhat similar to this uh, impulse signal first we'll generate the x uh, uh, sample axis which is already we have defined and we have also defined the size of the index so when we say step signal so if you uh, recall the step signal is uh, this kind of signal right for all the values or for all the sample index which are greater than 0 for all those values values it is equals to 1 and then that is how it is known as a step unit step signal okay so what we need to find uh, Okay, prior to it, let's generate a uh, an array of zeros, np dot zeros, comma l, and then we will find the indexes where this n is greater than or equals to zero, right? And then all those indexes, like STP, at all those indexes, this value should be one so there are several other ways to generate a signal but uh, I find this was the uh, little tricky and easiest one first we are finding all those indexes where n is greater than or equal to 0 and then we are simply generating the step signal or uh, by putting at all those indexes instead of 0 we are putting the value equals to 1 so let's first create an another figure so plt dot figure let's say 2 and then plt dot stem uh, n comma step and we want to show it within a different color so let's say we want to show in a green or and with different line so we can write it like this so plt dot title uh, step signal and then all these other two will be same so let's copy and paste and save it so let's run it so there are two figures this was the first impulse signal figure and this is the step signal okay so this is how you can move forward like uh, you can generate this entire signals uh, for entire uh, for required duration or for required number required number of samples 
with <coughs> okay so i hope you understand how to generate impulse signal and step signal in python so that's it for this video thank you